For this warm-up, turn to page 11 in your Team Brass book. When you see the pause sign, you can pause the video and have a go at the exercises for yourself. Hello there. Um, my pupils will be familiar with the um, five note patterns on page 11 of the Team Brass book. Here we're going to have a little look at how we can expand that into a bit of a longer warm-up. So first of all, we're going to get our mouthpieces and we're going to do a little bit of buzzing. So I like to call this swooping. We're going to start on a note on our mouthpiece. We're going to play a long note and then we're going to try and bend the pitch so it goes up and down. So the first one's going to just be just, just any long note. Okay, you can hold that as long as you can. Try and keep the sound really straight. Um, so next, like I say, we're going to try and bend the pitch. So this one's going to sound like this. And then we're going to see if we can bend it a little bit further. So, we're concentrating on the airflow all the time. So we're pushing the air through the mouthpiece to make that note dip down lower. And we're still going to get a full sound. Why don't you pause the video at this point and have a little go at doing some swooping on your mouthpiece. Next, we're going to play the five note patterns, but we're going to slur all the notes together. So it's going to sound like this. So now we've played the notes slurred, we're going to add our tongue, or our articulation, as we like to call it. But as you'll know, I don't like any short notes at this time. So even though we're tonguing our notes, we've still got to have our notes full length and a nice clear articulation at the beginning. So we're going two, two, two. Don't forget we can practice that by putting our fingers on our lips and going... So we're blowing the air through, but we're striking each note clearly with our tongue. So that's going to sound like this. Finally, we're going to work on getting our tongue in a little bit quicker. So what we're going to do, with still with the five note patterns, is all the crotchets, all the one beat notes, or sometimes we've called them cats, haven't we? We're going to double them up into quavers, so make them into monkeys. So we're still going to do the semi-brief, so there's still a long one at the end of each pattern as a nice four beat note. But we're going to see how clearly we can make those quavers in the other bits. So this one's going to sound like this. <laughs> And that's it, we're all warmed up.
and ready to start practicing some of our pieces and scales. Happy practicing. <laughs>